Hello and welcome to this video. If you are looking to get AWS Solution Architect Associate exam and you want to get it quicker in your first attempt, this video is for you. In this video, I will share 7 tips that can help you get your AWS Solution Architect Associate exam certification in your first attempt. So tip number one, commit to the thought of getting certified. And how you can do it? Well, go ahead and book your exam. That's the first thing you can do is have that goal in mind and book your exam. So you might be asking yourself, how much time should you give yourself to prepare for the exam? Well, it depends on your current level. If you're a beginner in the industry and you don't have any knowledge of tech, DevOps, or cloud, I would recommend you to give yourself at least four to five months this would be enough for you to get the concepts related to cloud, DevOps, Linux, etc., where you can effectively work with AWS and get yourself certified. If you have some sort of experience with tech, but you don't have any experience with cloud, I will recommend you to give yourself at least three months of time. So if you are already working with cloud, be it any cloud vendor, for example, AWS, Azure, GCB, or any of them in the market, four to six weeks should be enough for you to getting certified. Now to book exam, look for the various coupon codes that are available on the internet. You should be able to get decent discount in booking your exam. If you're working currently with any organization that would promote getting certified, talk to your line manager and get some discount coupons from your company as well. Booking your exam well ahead of the time will help you have a clear goal, which you call a SMART goal, where you have a specific goal of getting certified after a specific period of time. The next step is, Go ahead and understand your exam blueprint. The exam blueprint is clearly mentioned at AWS website. As you can see, the AWS Solution Architect Associate Exam Guide provides the complete description of the exam and also tells you the exam content that is that would be the part of the exam. If you come to the content outline, it will provide you some domains and the distribution of these. Coming down in the end, in appendix, you will have list of services in scope AWS services and features. Now, this is pretty important. Not all services will be asked in your exam. However, you should be aware of all these services. This PDF document is your guide throughout your exam preparation. I would recommend you to at least go through it a couple of times in a week. I have also converted this into a Google Sheet, which I've shared in the description. You can use it to work out as you go and prepare for your exam. Understand why this domain is important and how it relates to various AWS services. Also pay attention to the weight of the various domains. My third tip is gain confidence. And how would you be able to do that is have some hands-on experience with AWS. So once you have experience, you would be able to have intricate details of what this AWS service is and how it works. So for hands-on practice, AWS provides you with some free tier, which is free trials, for 12 months and some of the services are always free this means for example you can use aws ec2 for 12 months for free and up to a maximum of 750 hours s3 is free for 5 gb and it's free for the first 12 months this is enough for you to practice for your aws solution architect exam so go ahead and create your aws account and then you can get started with the free tier and start practicing for your aws solution architect associate exam my next tip is that you should gain confidence in the core services and how you would be able to do it is by writing the details of the core services. Now, core services include EC2, RDS, S3, Elastic Load Balancer, VPCs, etc. These are the services which are utilized a lot more than the other services that are mentioned in the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. Now, all these services have various type of details that you can go through. You should also go through the frequently asked questions section of these services, which would give you some of the understanding of these topics. Once you gain down confidence on the core services, you can span out and understand the various associate services that are built on top of these services. For example, any platform as a service, such as Plastic Beanstalk, would help you deploy your code easily over Amazon EC2 instance. Similarly, auto scaling groups would help you have a horizontal scaling on Amazon EC2 instance. So once you have those understanding on the core services, it would help you understand working off these associate services in a better way. So have much more confidence on the core services and those are the services you should start working with first. My next step is follow study resources and select those study resources strategically. 
Study resources are very helpful in your preparation. These can be video courses available on Udemy, YouTube, or any other platform, or these can be a bootcamp which are run by various online providers. As you would know, AWS has more than 200 plus services. So it's very easy for anyone to get sidetracked if they are just you know looking for what type of capability AWS has. So stick to the content, stick to the exam roadmap and follow a course which is available on these platforms. So the next step is practice. Practice the AWS exam questions. And where you can find it? Well, it's available as a free resource in AWS Solution Architect Associate exam page. You can buy some practice exams from Udemy. For example, there is a very famous one from Tutorial Dojo. You can also go ahead and look into that Skill Builder AWS Solution Architect exam that is available. These practice exams gives you a feel of the actual exam. Now, with this, you will also know how much time you are taking to solve one question. Pace your attempt to the question accordingly. For the exam, it is very important that you attempt all the questions that are part of the exam. To do that, you should know how much time you are taking to attempt for one exam question. And these practice exams would help you also understand what type of questions like multiple choice or multiple option questions are there and how to attempt them. With this practice, also understand the concept of the least probable answers. So once you know the least probable answer, you can look for the better options and select between them. So go ahead buy some practice exams and follow them. Last but not the least, join a study group. It can be either part of the bootcamp or it can be on Discord, Reddit or anywhere else. There are a lot of communities available on the internet where you can join a study group and be part of it. Working towards a shared goal, as I said, is much easier than having only a personal goal. You can also have a study group between your office colleagues or between your friends where you have a shared accountability for each other and support for each other as well. I personally run various AWS Solution Architect boot camps time to time. If you're interested, reach out to me and I would let you know the timings of that boot camp. All right, so that were my seven tips for attempting the AWS Solution Architect exam. I hope you enjoyed this video. For such content, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.